Hello everybody. So I was repairing this uh, Netgear AC 9000 R 7000, right? And uh, it's a very common thing for these antenna ports to break off. Especially if you have a family with kids and they bump the router and or you're just not very nice to it and knocks these antenna ports off very common But there's no teardown videos on the internet as I can see so I decided to make a quick video and how to open these up uh, For people that are not too familiar with opening up computers or routers just to you know add a step-by-step -step kind of thing now I already opened it up unfortunately I thought about making the video right as I was gonna fix it Now this lid is just held together by some snaps, right? And honestly, all you need is a guitar pick, right? And you could just pull up on the snaps. But before you waste your time doing that, you flip it over. There's going to be a screw here. It's going to be a small black screw about this size in this hole. That will hold the middle of the lid down. But of course, there's always hidden screws behind the feet. One, two, and three. The top two holes will be here and here. And they're going to have silver long screws. The bottom two holes will have longer black screws. You could use a guitar pick to open these feet up, or tweezers tend to work as well. So once you pull off these screws, then just get your guitar pick, and honestly, because I already opened it, the lid just pops right off. So, lid is off, right? And then here's your like little nubbin. So the LEDs are actually down here, buttons are here, so you don't have to worry about like an Xbox controller disassembly where your buttons fall out. No issues, right? Now, there's two ways of getting these guys back on. Let's say yours is completely broken off the board. This one is. See? See how it's not really on there? Well, I've got the feet bent back. I use some pliers, right? Needle nose pliers will bend the feet back. You can either take out the board and disassemble it. By the way, the board just pops right out. There might be a hidden screw here somewhere. There doesn't appear to be any screws on the board, so it does tend to just pop right out, but unfortunately, due to all these I.O. ports, it could be a very tricky thing to remove this board. So I thought of a better way. Uh, most people don't have a soldering iron. A lot of people are just watching this probably to quickly fix their router for like a parent or something that has this router. I find these routers at a lot of different homes. Uh, hot glue. We could just try hot glue. It's not conductive. Uh, it holds. Okay, so you're going to want to place down the hot glue and then push it down as fast as you can and then let it dry. Your end result should look like this. So this metal one is also wiggly wiggly. So we're going to carefully hot glue it. And like I said, we're still going to push it down, make sure it's making good contact. We're going to carefully lift it up. This one's actually only broken on the front half. The back seems to be still in pretty good. So this one's only partially broken. Okay, so now we hot glued that one. The middle one's the hardest one to hot glue, unfortunately. Uh, it's like, you got literally ethernet ports on both sides, so it's really hard to hot glue the middle one. Now we're gonna put the lid back on, flip it over. And remember what we said about the screws? Put that down like so. Now for the feet, you could use double-sided adhesive. Uh, these feet aren't going to really stay in otherwise. But if you don't, just put a little dab of hot glue just in the middle. Don't put it over the screw. We're going to be digging that out in the future. I'm going to choose the one just for that. And you put the feet right over. And the cool thing about hot glue is it will fill in the crevice. So it actually does a really good job of keeping those feet in. See? It ain't going anywhere. Like I said, just make sure you stay right in the middle trying to fill in those cavities so that's what the hot glue is going to do and look at that like I said these really don't, these aren't coming back I mean like I said if you get tweezers you could probably peel them out but and there we go these are not coming back that's for sure look at that feet are on ain't moving nice so let's get the antennas back on and then we're going to test out the router to prove to you guys that I did not break it. Like I said, people are a little picky these days. Okay, look at that. Uh, oh, there you go. 
And now, we've got a perfectly usable router with working antennas. Look at that. Now we're gonna plug in and see if it all works. Detecting your existing router. Uh, so this thing, it was factory reset by the way, before I did this, so it's not gonna work like, like it should. I have to set it up, but it's broadcasting to 5G. Uh, what's the network name for this guy, huh? And there you go, it's broadcasting. I can also see it on my computer here. So yeah, it still works. And I'm getting full bars of the uh, Netgear 54.